Hi! Today we take a look at a use case we all know – receiving a door call on your mobile device. While these systems are pretty easy to set up for single homes, it is less trivial for multi-tenanted buildings, where the smart devices of tenants needs to be integrated quickly into existing intercoms. Symphony Cloud provides simplicity and flexibility we all expect from modern software systems. Setup of a command Symphony doorbell is super easy, as you can see in our other video. This time, however, I would like to focus more on the management of mobile devices. In fact, you will learn how easy it is to add and remove a tenant's mobile to your doorbell system. We'll also have a closer look at the particularities of push notifications for time-critical applications such as door calls. So, let's start with our little demo system here. We have prepared our 10-inch outdoor station with a couple of tenants in there. We have a receiving station for the now still empty top one. And I also have here a browser where I log on to command.services with that account. And I can see the devices here as well. So, let's assume a new tenant moves in. The first thing I would do is change the label of the call button. So, I go to the door station, call buttons and edit that label. So, name of the new tenant is Brian Barnes. I click save and the change is already applied. Brian however, would like to add his own mobile device to the doorbell system. So, as a property manager, all I have to do is to add a so-called placeholder device. I click in the management console, add a placeholder device. I call that, let's say, Barnes Mobile. Hmm, sounds familiar. And I can add that placeholder to the same ring group of the receiving station in that top. Um, with the creation of a placeholder, I also received an email with a QR code. I would now forward that QR code to Brian and all he has to do is go to the App Store, download the app, start it, and there is an option to scan a QR code. He simply has to scan that code. And now the device magically fetches the configuration from the cloud. After a couple of seconds, it is able to receive calls. So if I now press the button, you can see the ringing, you can see the early media video. I can simply take the call and open the door. Brian has kids and what he don't want is that they can open the door for everybody. So, he wants to secure the door opener. All he has to do is go to settings, access lock, and there he can enter a pin code for the door opener. For convenience reasons, you can also activate Face ID. And now, if somebody rings the bell, you can still take the call. But if you like to slide, open the door, and the face is not recognized, you cannot open it. You can try it again. Now it works. The door is opened. That's all that needs to be configured to add a tenant's mobile to the doorbell system. The tenants, however, mostly haven't the apps always on. Usually, they haven't even started the app and the phone is switched off in the pocket. What happens then? So, we've added another mobile device to the system to show the interactions between the devices. I simply kill the app here as well and switch off the mobile. And if I now ring the bell button, I receive an immediate push notification that lets me start the app have a preview video, take the call and slide to open the door. I would like to draw your attention once more to the push notification, in particular 
how quick it comes and what happens with the other push notification at the moment I take that call. It's gone immediately and the other person knows right away the call has already been taken. Push notifications offer me even more convenience. So if I receive a call, I cannot just take the call. With a long press, I can also directly accept the call and open the door. Or if I know already who's standing in front of the door, I can also directly open the door from within the push notification. And that is the quickest way to let somebody in. But wait, there's even more. All these configuration tasks can be fully automated through our public API. Let Command Symphony Cloud do the work for you. Enjoy.